The A's bullpen has been dominant this season, and one of the driving forces behind that success is bullpen coach Marcus Jensen, who was a backstop himself for seven seasons in the big leagues. Jensen's baseball roots trace back to his grandfather. Well, he certainly had a big influence on me in terms of baseball. Uh, he took me to my first little league game, and ironically, I caught in that game, um, which he was a catcher as well. Arthur Mickey Kemper played for the Toledo Crawfords of the Negro Leagues in the 1930s. I'm proud of my grandfather. Uh, I'm proud of that history. It's given me the opportunity, as well as a number of you know, African-American players, to be where we are now. Kemper taught Jensen about the history of the Negro Leagues. Talk about, you know, somebody or guys really having to pay their dues, you know, I mean, and playing for the love of the game as opposed to for the money. Um, you know, the conditions weren't great, the travel wasn't great. Sometimes it was pass the hat to the stands and hope that people were generous enough to give you money, um, you know, to, uh, for playing. So that was your salary. Jensen's goal now is to keep the memory of the Negro Leagues alive. I think it's important for, you know, the, the generations now to continue to keep sharing the history of the past. He introduced me to the, the history and the names that, you know, whether it was Rube Foster, who from my understand, you know, was kind of the catalyst behind the Negro Leagues, you know, and then obviously the bigger names, people like Cool Papa Bell and uh, Josh Gibson. One of Jensen's favorite personal memories of his grandfather is when he shared the glove he played with all those years ago. He showed me the gloves that he would use and the bats that he would use and then, um, you know, we'd sit and watch games and then he couldn't understand because of the time generation how, you know, catchers of my time would only catch with one hand and where he had this glove that basically had this small little pocket in it and he'd have to catch with two hands. Over time, Jensen's appreciation for what his grandfather accomplished has grown. Actually, he gave me one of his bats, and I wish I was too young to really appreciate, you know, what he had given me. Had, I, had he given me that bat now, I certainly would have put it away as a collector's item as opposed to going into the backyard and hitting rocks with it and just, you know, just totally demolishing this bat that was from his playing days in the 1930s or so. Jensen's bond with his grandfather now continues through his family. You know, I have kids myself. I, I, uh, I teach them about, you know, the history of the game, about important people, about, you know, Jackie Robinson. So those times and memories that I have with him, I, I want to, and that I value now as, as an adult, you know, I share with my own kids and hopefully they look back on their childhood and have the same fond memories that I had of, with my grandfather.